birth of objects and subjects is simultaneous and it is grounded in the frustrating experience of not being able to control mother as an internal object, not being able to instantaneously gratify needs by resorting to an internal space. This terror of having lost control over your source of sustenance and life itself, that your very survival depends on mother, this terror is traumatic. And the break between the child and the mother is perceived by the child as some kind of rejection. The mother has rejected and frustrated the child by becoming an object. And becoming a subject is equally traumatizing and frustrating. Because in order to become a subject, the child needs to deny the empty nothingness that it had been until, until that moment. The child needs to deny its previous nature and become something completely different from larva to caterpillar to butterfly. There's perceived rejection, not only a rejection of the child by the mother, but a rejection of the child by the child. And of course, when you feel rejected, even now as adults, sometimes you become counter-dependent. You, you become defiant and you counter-reject. <laughs> you reject me, I reject you. A rejection of the child by the child. 